Hello everyone, myself Neha Rai and our topic for today is hybridization. So let us start with the definition of hybridization. It is defined as the concept of mixing two orbitals with the same energy levels to give a degenerated new type of orbital. This intermixing is based on quantum mechanics. The three types of hybridization are sp, hybridization with an angle of 180 degree, sp2 hybridization with an angle of 120 degree and sp3 hybridization with an angle of 109.28 degrees. This is all based on valence bond theory and we are here to further study it with on the basis of quantum mechanics. The main three conditions are they are all hybrid or orbitals are itself normalized. normalized. To explain this term, we are using this condition. These are the two orbitals that are formed and this is the condition for normalized. The second condition is they are orthogonal to each other. Orthogonal. The condition for orthogonal is And the third condition is they, the all hybrid orbitals are equivalent. The three types that is sp, sp2 and sp3 shows the exact angle of 180, 120 and 109.28 degrees. We are here to study this exact angles on the basis of quantum mechanics and the further information about this hybridization is going to be given by Dharmendra Prajapati. Thank you. Hello everyone, myself Dharmendra Puchapati. I am going to explain you about the SP hybridization, which is a part of hybridization. So here we have to prove the SP hybridization has an angle of 180 degree. For that we have considered the one example, beryllium hydride. Okay. So let's see the configuration of beryllium hydride uh, in ground state is 1H2 to H2. And the, in the excited state, this electron from the S orbital get transferred to the P orbitals. Okay. So now, to obtain the directionality of these two ber uh, beryllium hydrogen bond, we shall take a linear combination of 2s and 2pz. So we will get two equation, which is the uh, first one is phi1 and phi2. These are the two hybrid orbitals. Okay. So there are three conditions. First condition is both hybrid orbitals are equivalent, and second is normalization, and third is orthogonal. Okay. So let's apply this first condition. So first condition, according to first condition, a1 become equal to a2. Okay. So now, uh, if you take a normalization of phi1 and phi2, so we will get a1 square plus a2 square which is equal to 1. So here we can find out the value of a1 because a1 equal to a2. Now the second condition is uh, both hybrid orbitals are normalized itself. Okay. So here we can also determine the value of b1 because we know the value of a1. Okay. So now we know values a1 and b1. So what we have to do? We have to put this value in equation number 1. Okay. So if you put the value equation number 1, so we will get this equation. Okay. Now the third condition. Third condition is both the hybrid orbitals are orthogonal to each other. Okay. So according to conditions, we will get a1 and a2 plus b1, b2 equal to 0. Okay. Now the, we know the value of a1 and b1 and also a2 because a1 equal to a2. So, so from here we can find out the value of b2 which is equal to minus 1 by root 2. Okay. So now we know value of a2, b2 and b1. Okay. So from here we can, uh, so what we have to do, these values we have to put in the equation number 2. Okay. Phi 2. So we will go, get this phi 2 equations. Okay. 1s, 2s and we will get this equation. Okay. By substituting the value of 2s and 2pz, because we know uh, value of 2s, 2pz, and 2px. Okay, by substituting these equations in the this equation, so we will get phi 2 equation. We will get this phi 2 equation. Okay, so from here we can take common uh, this term common and uh, differentiate with respect to theta. Okay, if you differentiate this equation with respect to theta, so we will get this equation. As we know that the d phi 2 and d theta which is equal to 0 because because is a maximum value okay so we will get this equation equal to 0 and sin theta is equal to 0 so from here this sin uh, theta is equal to sin inverse of 0 and sin of 0 uh, the value of 180 sin 180 is equal to 0 so here we have proved 
the angle of sp hybridization is 180 degree okay the next topic is sp2 hybridization which is going to explain by the george okay thank you uh, myself george devasya and i'm going to continue the explanation with respect to sp2 hybridization i'll be taking the example of bs3 molecule so we can uh, so we can see that boron in the ground state boron in the excited state electronic configuration so if there is one hydrogen atom it will basically combine with uh, one s there will be three hydrogen at atoms so it will be combined with sp and px and pz so we will be having sp2 hybridization so there will be three hybrid orbitals which will be given as phi1 a1 2s b1 2pz and c1 2px so basically i can take the value of three hybrid orbitals that is 1 2 and 3 so we will be considering the phi1 which will lie along z axis so we can easily neglect this part c1 2px as it lies along the z axis so we will be just getting phi1 is equals to a1 2s plus b1 2px so we know that the contribution from 2s orbital 2s orbital will be evenly distributed since the s orbital is spherically symmetrical so we will be just getting the value as a1 is equals to a2 is equals to a3 as there as the s orbital is normalized so we will be, we will be having the value of a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square is equal to 1 if we solve this we will get the value of a1 as 1 by root 3 just we have to substitute this value a1 in equation number 1 so we will be getting as a1 phi1 is equals to 1 by root 3 2s plus b1 2pz uh, we know that the phi1 is itself normalized so we will be getting as the value of a1 square a1 square plus b1 square will be 1 so if we solve this part we will be getting the value of b1 is equal to root under root of 2 by 3 then we have to substitute both the value of both the value of a1 as well as b1 in equation number 1 we will be getting the value of the wave function phi1 so for similarly for phi2 if we solve for phi2 lies in the xz plane so we can't, can't neglect this px value so for phi2 it will be 1 by root 3 2s plus b2 2pz plus c2 2px Hello guys, my name is Ajay and here we are taking uh, sp2 hybridization as we know that the value of phi1 uh, which is given here in the value of phi2 now our job is to calculate the value of b2 as well as c2 Let's now apply the uh, second condition which is orthogonal let's phi1 and phi2 are orthogonal to each other then we will get this question by calculating the value of b2 we will get minus 1 upon root c now apply the third condition which is phi2 itself is normalized by applying these, we will get this equation and after substituting the value of a2, b2, we will get the value of c2 which is equals to 1 upon root 2. Now, we, we here calculate the value of a2, b2 and c2, substitute this value in equation phi2, we will get this equation. Now here, in this equation, we have 2s, 2pz and 2px. Now substitute, substitute the 2, 2s, 2pz and 2px values in this phi2 equation, we will get here the equation. Now, here the small assumption that phi2 is lies in between the plane of xz, which is deviated from phi1. Phi1 is lies on the z, z axis, as we already told you. Now, as phi2 is lies in xz plane, the theta phi angle becomes 0 and the cos phi become 1. And cos phi become 1. By, by taking this, uh, we, can, we here easily neglect this term and after taking common we will get the phi2 which is equal to this now for the maximum value of phi2 we can easily derivate phi2 with respect to theta uh, and put this value again uh, equal to 0 so after derivating this we will get the equation uh, here and uh, by taking uh, some mathematical work uh, the equation becomes sin theta upon cos theta which is equal to minus root of 3 and the sin theta cos theta is equal to 10 theta 10 theta is minus root of 3 and by taking inverse we can easily find the angle which is 120 degree so uh, from here we can say that the, the molecule which has sp2 hybridization is has an angle of 120 degree thank you hello friends myself vijayapurabhi i am going to explain you about sp3 hybridization now we have to consider a ch4 molecule which have four hybrid orbitals okay so this is the equation for phi i where i is 1 2 3 and 4 okay now apply the condition 1 which is all hybrid orbitals are equivalent so from here we can say that a1 is equals to a2 is equals to a3 is equals to a4 and also a1 square plus a2 square plus a3 square is equal a4 square is equal to 1 so from here we can calculate the value of a1 which is 1 upon under root of 4 now apply condition number 2 
so all hybrid orbitals are normalized okay so from here we can calculate the value of d1 now we have to put the uh, value of d1 and a1 in the equation of phi1 which is lie along the z axis okay now move towards the condition number 3 which is hybrid orbitals are orthogonal to each other okay this is the equation for phi2 which lies along the xz plane okay as phi1 and phi2 are orthogonal we can calculate the value of d2 as minus 1 upon under root of 12 so phi2 is itself normalized by this uh, condition we can calculate the value of b2 as under root of 2 by 3 okay now we have the value of b2 d2 a2 we have to put these values in equation of phi2 this is written here okay by putting the value of values we will get this equation okay now we, we have to differentiate it with respect to theta but after differentiating with respect to theta we will get the value that tan theta is equal to under root of minus 8 now by taking inverse of theta we will get the value of theta as 109 degree and 28 minutes okay so here we can say that the sp3 hybrid orbitals have the value as so we can say that the sp3 hybrid orbitals have the angle as 109 degree and 28 minutes okay